by calm so I haven't done a video in like a very long time definitely haven't done one in my new home state um, so I'm officially in Colorado this is my new home with my brand new husband as you can see I've also done something to my hair so I've done school for now a week and I thought I'd be making friends right now. I thought I'd be texting tons of people, and that's just not the case. I could see back in Minnesota after getting married how I could keep the same friends. It would just take an adjustment in relationship, but it'd be fine. We'd still hang out, we'd still talk. But being on campus with like 15,000 students, um, a good chunk is pre-nursing, especially my classes, um, my priorities are completely different. And the way I see uh, the world now is different, the way I live my life is different, the way I study is different, because of my life experiences. And because of just the two months my husband and I have been married, knowing what's a priority and knowing what's just getting in the way of what really matters. I've also noticed that when you go through recovery, you mature really, really fast because you learn what's important and what's worth fighting for and what's worth living for. So kudos. <laughs> you know, having mental illness sucks, but hey, look, we're more mature and we have a different outlook and we see life differently. Like, it's hard for me to relate to a lot of these people because... I don't care about what parties this weekend. I don't care what he or she said. Like, it doesn't matter in the scope of things. Like, I want to get into the nursing program hopefully soon. I want to get my A's. That's, like, what matters. And I want to build a life with my husband that's based on, on God throughout everything and has communication, flexibility, love, honor, and respect. And... I just want to encourage you though, even though I can't relate to these people, even though I'm having a really hard time to even want to try to talk to them, it's not an excuse. And it's not a reason to keep myself locked home with my husband all day, even though that's what I'd prefer. You know, if you're thrown into a new situation where you can't relate to anybody and you feel just years past where they're at and where they're talking because you've just seen the harder side of life and you know what it what it looks like to be pushed on your face, you still have to try. You still have to reach your hand. I think God right now is teaching me to just humble myself, keep my ego in check. You can know who you are, you can know what you're good at, and you can know mentally where how mature you are, but that doesn't give you a stepping ladder to a level higher than your peers, or people older or younger than you. Those people bother me too. You have to still find a way to stay level, to stay grounded, to realize even though you might have already done this, where they're currently at in their life, you can just offer them a hand. I started talking to one of my lab partners because she's really worried about getting into the nursing program and I was able just to share my thoughts and help her kind of calm down about it. Even though friends are going to be harder than I expected, I still have to try. And I can't just resort to being that shy kid in class because that's not who I am. That's not who God called me to be. I still have to promote snow. I still have to be a mental illness advocate. I need to be a good wife. I need to be a good student. And by just shutting down and just by reserving yourself because you just feel like you're not on the same page as these people, it's not a good plan and it's not a good strategy and I feel like you're going to end up being more miserable. It's the start of a brand new semester, start of a brand new school year, so take an opportunity. Go through your emotions. Validate them, of course. Find your skills. But in the end, really pray and think about how you can break through. Even if it's just a casual conversation here and there. Even if 
they're not going to be your lifelong best friends or your maid of honor. It's still important to make a connection. It's still important to keep yourself humble and grounded and your ego in check. Because truthfully, the people that have it the hardest are the farthest. And I don't think that's always the case, and I don't think that should always be the case. But unfortunately, it is a lot of the times. I wish that you could have it easy and still be farther. And I know some kids that are being raised that way, and it makes me really happy. And I'm going to raise kids that way, where they don't have to be knocked on their face to realize who they are and how good they have it, and to be farther than their peers, so that you can actually turn around and grab your peers' hand and help them along. I just challenge you. Try to set up a coffee date this week. Try to call somebody, Skype somebody. Try to reach out outside of yourself. Remember, yes, you've gone through more than most would ever dream of, but you still live on the same level as them. You can't walk around on stilts. You can't walk around pretending you're higher than everybody just because of your life. It stunts you, actually, and it puts you behind. If you've ever seen people trying to walk on stilts, it's miserable. Like, I would not want to do it. It puts you farther behind in the long run. So it's okay if you're ahead. It's okay if you're ahead of the ahead of your group. That just means you get to be the leader. That just means you get to bring people together. And the fun thing about being a leader is you can empower other people to be a leader. You can empower other people to take charge. In my lab group, I could easily lead this thing. I could easily bring them to a conclusion of our homework. But instead, I just want to empower them. I just want to encourage them to be leaders and to step out and to try. I don't want to just bulldoze. So sometimes the best thing to do is to just let others go first. Because you've been there. You know what's on the other side of that door. So I just want to encourage you just to keep trying. And I hope your semester is going well. And if it's starting soon, good luck. You will be great. Just remember who you are. Remember where you came from. Just remember, walking on stilts actually slows you down. Walking on the same level as people actually allows you to go further and faster. And you're able to encourage others. You can't really encourage people if you're so high up. It's like you're screaming at them. And it's not going to hit their heart right. It's going to just feel funny. They're going to feel kind of like, oh, why are you yelling at me? Be at the same level as people. See how it goes for you. Stay tuned. Wednesday, midweek energy. It's going to be pretty good. Have a good Monday, guys. It's going to be a good day.